I look at our fair fair first alert live radar. Good morning to you. If you're just tuning in with us, what we are looking at temperature wise upper to mid 60s out there for most a few 70s as you work your way closer to the coast. You can see lots of showers trying to form in our southern areas. We're going to continue to track that as we head through the morning, but taking a live look right now out over Plant Riverside. Lots of muggy conditions out there, likely going to see a little bit of patchy fog as we head into the morning. Once that clears out, temperatures warm up rather quickly, not as quickly as the previous days, but still mid 70s by the time we get to 10 a.m. As we head into your afternoon, still going to look for isolated chances for rain. 10 to 20% chance, mostly cloudy skies, warm temperatures. Still going to look for high temps anywhere in the mid to lower 80s for most of us. Cooler temperatures if you're going to be out along the coast. But talking about your rain chance today, like we said before, scattered showers to weak thunderstorms this morning forming in our southern areas. Those slowly push farther to the north as we head into this afternoon. That's when we could see some rain chances here in the Savannah area. Then the majority of this should start to dissipate as we get into the later afternoon. That's why you don't really see it make it north of I-16 and not looking for any rain chances past sunset. During that time, temperatures will be cooling down anywhere from the mid 70s to the upper 60s. Still going to have some of that cloud cover lingering around as we head into the overnight. We're still going to track more daily rain chances as we head into tomorrow. Still tracking this tropical system. We are going to be talking a little bit more about that in a couple minutes, but basically still more of those rain chances from our sea breeze as we head into tomorrow. Cold front dives into the area as we head into late Saturday through the overnight into Sunday. What this is basically going to do, give us higher rain chances on Saturday, 30% chances, still 20% chances on Sunday, slightly cooler temperatures because as that dives in, so does the cold air coming with it. We'll also be tracking a little bit of gusty winds. Uh, wind speeds could gust up to 25 miles per hour, and then temperatures going to rebound quickly as we head into next week. We'll still be looking at more mid to upper 80s by the time we get into the midweek, heading into uh, next Wednesday, but still be sure to stay updated on the forecast as we head into to this weekend and we track those 30 to 20% chances for rain. Temperature wise though, really not looking that bad. Definitely stuck in that summer pattern as we head into the next seven days. But let's take a look.